everybody, how are you? Today is level two, class nine, the incredible single stroke roll. Now, I know it sounds funny because the single stroke roll is the first roll you learn. It is the first basic fill you roll around the kit. But what we don't realize and what we, we take for granted, honestly, is the development we can gain from the single stroke roll. The power, the speed, the coordination, the focus, and the discipline all this is right there in that one little roll. So we've got exercises today, and they're broken up pretty long. They're generally about two minutes each. So you've got about 20 minutes solid of exercises. But again, this can be done in a day. Now below, we've got concepts of misdirection and solos and singles. That's kind of fun. That's going to be a little free-form exercise we'll have at the end of class. But I want to start right off with talking about a single. We all just automatically think when we hear single stroke that we're right, left, right, left, you know, or left, right, left, right. Right? But it's also and Okay, so there were so many variations of the single stroke roll. Now, I just sat here, no concentration, no focus, just goofing off, showed you a couple of examples. But before we do anything, before you sit at your kit and exercise and play and do all those things during the day, you should warm up. I'm sure you have a warm-up routine somewhere um, that you can do. But if you don't, you do simple stuff. You start with one hand, then you start the other hand then you move into a nice single stroke roll. Don't start with the single stroke roll. Wake your hands up a little bit, nice and easy. And the way we're gonna do that is with the proper warm up. Exercise one, medium to high rebound stroke. Now medium to high, high and medium. Not low to medium or medium to low. We've got medium to high. So, a fairly loose grip. And, and loose doesn't mean fingers out. Loose can be, you know, uh, uh, your fingers are in, but you still have, you know, flexibility and movement between the sticks. So right now, let me see, what, let me feel how I, I'm feeling this right now. So if I freeze it, uh, I'm in, I'm in a, a fairly, you know, closed grip, I would say. You know, it's, it's not open too much. That's how I'm bouncing it. And I'm using wrist. I'm waking my wrist up but it's still a rebound stroke. So what I want to do right now is I'm going to set the timer. I'm going to set it for two minutes. Why not? Okay, we'll go for two minutes. And we're just going to go our right hand for two minutes. Just like that. Moderate tempo. I don't want this. I don't want... I want this. Now, while you're doing that, if you have to make micro adjustments, if you have to adjust the stick in your hand, feel free to do it. Absolutely, 100%. We're waking up our hands. We're going to start this right now. The time is going. One, two, three, four. Now, you could do this with me, or you could just watch and do this afterwards. Now, a relaxed posture. You don't have to sit up straight, you know no focusing on that. We're not concentrating on anything but just waking our hand up and bouncing the stick. Now, I'm not so much bouncing it. It's still a rebound stroke. I'm letting the rebound push my hand back up and I'm pushing it back down. I'm creating that motion with it. So let me be quiet and let me do this for like 39 seconds. Now, as much as you're getting rebound, like I said, I want you to use your wrist. As far as your fingers, if you're wide open underneath or you have a, a more closed grip, you have to feel that out. We're at one minute. I have a kind of a closed grip, but I switch off. I relax my hand, my pinky and ring finger every so often because I have the three finger fulcrum going. Keep it going. We'll do two minutes with this hand and two minutes with the left hand. 
whoops. I want to be able to switch. Minute 30. Nice and easy. I'm not coughing, I'm not faltering, my elbow's relaxed. Minute 40, 20 more seconds. You know, you'll start waking this hand up, start pushing it. You'll see my sticking is higher now. 10 seconds, we go to the left hand. One, two, one, two, three, four. Now get that seamless. You want that transition from hand to hand, nice and seamless. Put the other stick down, relax your arm. Keep going. Keep going. Believe it or not, that's only 30 seconds. <laughs> Keep going. Keep going. We're not even at a minute yet. Keep going. Now, if you want to start off slower, please, by all means, this is an advanced class today. This is level two. One minute down. Now, really... Focus on that left hand or your weak hand. You know, adjust your positioning. Feel the stick. That feels good right there. That's my position. Now what we're going to do after this is we're going to do right hand again and then left hand again. But you're going to do it more of a closed grip. Now, you can go, this says medium to high. If you want to go a little lower, you can go a little lower. That's okay. 20 more seconds. But we're going to close the grip. We're really going to bring our fingers close. And we're going to use a lot of wrist. But like I said, you can bring the tempo down. Seven seconds. Right hand, close grip. Two minutes. Four, three, two, one. Now, go medium right now. You don't have to go high. You can lighten the stroke up a little. Put the other stick down. Relax your hand. Relax that left arm. We got two minutes to relax that arm. And again, now we're back to our hand and where we have a closed grip. So it's a little more awake. Now really focus on your wrist. Get the grip closed. Feel the taper and the bottom of the stick all the way in your hand. Not really coming off much. Very little space. Very little. One more minute. Nice. Keep doing it. Now, if you are not at this level, please. If you are a level one student, please stay in the level one classes until you feel you're ready. Or until you submit a video to be graded. Come on. All right. We're going to switch to the left hand in 30 seconds. Close grip. But I want you to stop pushing this. Bring it up high. Close grip still. Full stroke. Ten seconds, we're going to switch. I'm really pushing it. I'm forcing it. Four, three, two, one. Close grip, right, uh, left hand. Relax your right. Oh, that feels good, though. My left hand feels really good right now. It's waking up. Oh, I want to drink so bad right now. Can't. 
30 seconds. In. <laughs> Come on, you can do it. Just think about it. Breathe. Let's get serious. Breathe. In. Out. Out. Breathe. Don't forget. Adjust your position of your arm. If it's getting tired or you're cramping up, move your fingers. Adjust them. Learn how to do those things in motion. You're going to need to. All right. We're on our second minute. I'm popping my wrist. Keeping it going. Now from here, we're going to see if we could sneak a drink in without missing a beat. All right, 30 seconds. We're going to go into a relaxed single stroke. Okay, that's kind of like the rebound one, but I want your fingers nice and relaxed. I want you to relax your hand. But before we do that, we're going to take about 10 to 15 seconds to let our left wrist calm down and then go into it. So in, in five seconds, stop and put your stick down and put your hands at your sides. Four, three, two, one. Okay, now stop. Put your hands down. Let's just give it a couple of seconds. Let's just give it a few seconds. Three seconds. Four seconds. Don't shake your hands out hard and fast. Do not do this. You'll hurt your wrist. Absolutely not. Hands at your side. Relax. Slowly move your fingers and open and close your hands. Do not shake your hands out. Put your hands up just like this. Freeze. Hands up. Put them up like this. Keep them there for a few seconds. Move your fingers. Relax. Hands up. A little higher. Don't forget to breathe. We're not holding our breath. And relax them down. All right. You're good. Roll your wrist if you need to. Rub your forearm. I rub my forearm. This is my left arm. It's a little tighter. We're waking up. We're going to do the single stroke relax right now. Okay? That's what we're going to do. We're going to go two minutes. And when I say relax, I'm opening my hand up. The hybrid grip. Give it a lot of wiggle. That's relaxed single strokes. Ready? One, two, three, four. Even. Exact same grip in each hand. Position-wise, everything. Even. Not, I don't want this. No, I want this. No accents, medium stroke, relaxed, loose, but control and focus. 40 seconds in. Relax a little more if you need to. This is where we, uh, we get a little tough. Relax. Watch it. See, I even hit the rim. I mean, I have a pad on top of my snare, so my hands are higher than they normally are. But Relax. Thirty more seconds. Twenty more seconds. Use your wrist. Start waking them up again. For control. All right. Hold on. Stop. Again. Slowly move your hands in circles. All right. 
put your hand around your wrist. Don't choke it. Just relax it around right in those little dents. You got these, this perfect little area that your, your thumb and forefinger will sit right in there perfectly. Put it in there, relax it, and just lightly roll your wrist. Thou, the thumb and forefinger are your guide, so you don't overextend your wrist. So you do this and you lightly follow that circle. Circles. Don't go like this. I want nice circles, just like that. And you can go the other way and swap. You can do this. This is stuff you're going to do on your own. We're only doing it right now just to show you what you can do between these exercises when your arms are cramping up and if they're hurting. And then the other way, nice and easy. Use that guide. Don't go, oh, I know the momentum. Put it there. Put it there. Okay? It's helping this hand. It's giving this hand something to do as well. Same as this hand. It's helping your left hand get familiar with holding things. So it's all development. So now we're going into the medium single stroke. We're increasing the tempo and we're going alternating, meaning right, left, as opposed to just right hand and then left hand. We're alternating stroke. Right, left, right, left, right, left. Okay? If you need to grab a drink, go get a drink. You got about four seconds. No, I'm kidding. Um, so yeah, medium stroke. Now again, we just did the relaxed stroke. So medium stroke, when we want to pick up the tempo, it doesn't mean tighten your grip up. It does not mean tighten your grip up. It means we're going to create more speed and momentum in our wrist. So we're going to use that wrist pop. We're going to use that, that turn of the radius and the ulna, all those things to get that speed. But again, your hand itself, if I freeze frame it, I'm not choking the sticks up. I'm not tensing up my shoulders. I'm not, I'm not locking my arms up. I'm not holding my breath. I'm still relaxed body. I'm still relaxed breath. I'm still relaxed mentally, okay? We're just going from here to here. That's all we're doing. Now, don't get me wrong. You are applying more pressure, more power, and more speed than you just did. So you are increasing that muscle mass and that energy a little bit, but not like any way you should be tensing up or locking up. So let's go right into number two. Ready? We're going to go. You jump in right when you want to. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. A little faster. There we go. I'm again. I'm relaxed. I'm making sure my hands are even. I'm still medium height. Now that's the other thing, when you want to go faster, you don't bring your hand all the way up here because you're going to go, you want to go faster. So, you know, you, you have to understand that. It's not bringing your hand up faster. It's not bigger, stronger motion. It's smaller, faster motion. Keep it going. A little faster, a little, a little more, a little louder. Get, a, get more power in that. From the wrist. From the wrist. That's a minute in. Hold it just like this for a minute for me. Really focus on your wrists. Moving your hands up and down from the wrist. Not your elbow. Now you can relax it a little bit. Try and keep the tempo not too slow. Cool it down a little slower. A little slower. Back it off. Keep it medium height. All right, nice, nice little burn in that one. Nice little burn. Again, how do your arms feel? You're gonna feel a little pressure, a little thickness in here. The blood's rushing into those muscles as it's working, as you're flexing your wrist and developing these muscles. 
Okay, you're gonna feel it here a little bit. Again, just extend your arms, arch your back a little naturally. They're not like this or anything, don't overextend. Just a nice natural little forward Superman motion. Head down nice and nice and slight. If I'm in my good position, we've got Frankenstein, and we're just moving down into Superman flying over, taking a look around. You just relaxed, you just relaxed. Bring your arms up. Let the blood come down now. Let the pressure in your forearms release back into your bicep. Let it go back into your shoulders. Let it go into your heart and your chest and let it start circulating through your body. Bring your hands down slow. A little more. Relax. Let it balance itself out. Take a drink if you want. We've got one more. We've got the heavy single stroke. Now, the heavy single stroke, we don't need to do fast, but this is gonna be a full stroke. Closed grip. And that's a good tempo for it. You ready? Two minutes with me. One, two, three, four. Good. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. All the way up. Remember what I said. This was a warm up. We're nowhere near done yet, guys and gals. <laughs> I'm in a good mood today. New toys, new symbols. Who wouldn't be, right? No, it's really good. My wife's on vacation this whole week. Part of next week. It's just been really nice at home. Really peaceful time of year. Really nice. I wish we had more snow. We have no snow. Let's bring that stroke up even more power. Not so much height, just more force. Down and up. Close grip. Don't worry about it if it's a little sloppy. A little sloppy. But get it good. Really focus on it. Close grip. Ah, my hands are getting really funky right now. Tired. There we go. That feels better. Had to adjust my position a little bit. Oh, yeah. My forearms feel it. You know what? Let's pick the tempo up a little. Just full force. Right there. Ah, five seconds. Slow it down. Cool it down. That's why you're slowing down. Just don't stop. Naturally bring the tempo back off of something like that. You're going to feel your arms want to like float up in the air. They really, really do. That's how light they are. Put your sticks down. Let's stop the timer. Really nice. Really, really nice. Okay, we're going to go into the exercises now. So how do you feel? You okay? Good deal. So my arms feel fine. I'm, I'm, I'm right now as I'm talking to you. What I'm doing is I'm just relaxing. I'm relaxing my arms. I'm just relaxing my, my pace internally. I'm letting my heart rate kind of relax down to a normal uh, resting BPM. You know, I just, this is cardio, believe it or not. This is a small form of cardio. So, you know, you want to get your breath back. If you're really out of breath, if you're heavy on your breath right now, take a couple of, just stop and take a couple of good in, out. In and out. Don't be harsh. Don't breathe like that. Get control of it. Relax your breath. Let your arms rest. So the exercises now, because we're taking a two-minute break. So the exercises I'm recording. I just had to make sure I'm recording it for a second. I thought, oh, did I not record? Um, our exercises, you can see the first one says snare to Tom. Okay, so snare to Tom, 
literally means snare to tom. Okay, let's bring my microphone back in here. Make sure that plug's not coming out. So what we're going to do, and you'll see I have the count as a 16th note count. One E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a. We're going to hit every single one of those notes right left on the snare, and then we're going to move up to the tom right left. And we're going to just repeat this pattern back and forth. I want you to keep something in mind as we do this. When you're doing these rolls and you're coming back, like when you roll around the kit and you want to come back fast, I, I'll explain this as we go on, go on in, the con, um, in the concepts of misdirection, but when you roll your drums, you start again with the right hand here. So what happens a lot of times is as, as a lot of drummers get fast, they come around, they just get here and they get sloppy and they do this kind of a thing. Instead of, I'm sorry, and bringing the hand right over. two notes around. They do this and let this other hand come over first. So I want you to be really careful is that as you're doing this, these exercises from your snare to your tom, I want to make sure you're starting off on the snare and on the tom and then back on the snare and then on the tom with the, the correct hand. So really focus on what you're doing. Now, as I said, the exercise is very simple. On the snare, we're going to go one E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a. One E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a. Now these are two minute exercises if you're gonna do them in almost the burn concept, but I'll start this one for motion, movement, and understanding at a slower tempo, and then I'll pick it up to the tempo that I mean it to be at the more of an up tempo. This is definitely a one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a one e and a two e and a three e and a four e. You know, even I want you to get that faster. So keep that count in your head. Uh, we can we can do that quarter note pulse. One e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a. If you want to, um, for yourself. So I'm going to do the first one, and I'm going to shut my mic off here so it sounds a lot better than big big noise. I really feel like I'm going to hit that. <laughs> so, snare to tom. Finish strong. Ugh. Don't finish weak. Finish strong. Um, I was just having fun moving around to the other drums just to break it up. But that's what I mean to count. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a. Making sure that first note is there and there. Not that rolling the drum in one E and a two E and a and starting this weird combination. So focus on here, up and back down. I'm playing predominantly in. German 
to the uh, hybrid kind of grip. It's a little, it's probably even between German and hybrid grip. It's not full hybrid um, and it's not full German grip. So exercise two, now we're gonna do the same thing and we're gonna go eighth note count. So what is an eighth count? One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and but. One and two and three and four and one and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. Okay, we're gonna get it nice and quick. So I'll do the same thing again. I'll start it off slow, just show you. I'm going from here to here to get the motion nice. You can do it with me. And if I get to a tempo where it's too fast for you, stop, relax on your own do these exercises okay when you see me speeding up i'm only doing that to show you from one tempo extreme to the other i don't want you to do that what what i want it but one nice tempo moving your metronome up but one nice tempo moving your metronome up but okay no no roller coaster tempos okay so exercise to eighth notes, snare to Tom. I got a little carried away. I'm sorry about that. But just one and two and three and four and 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 okay. So what are we doing now? Of course, we're doing quarter note. So now it's one, two, three, four, 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 one, two, three, four. This is where it gets a little tough. So let's do this one and I'll do it slow and I'll pick up the tempo again and try not to get carried away. Sorry about that. it right there a little bit but you get the picture okay but really focus on your move you notice when I'm I'm doing it at a lower tempo I'm really really close grip uh, not tight just close grip I'm really big motion big motion big motion big big motion when I'm getting faster I'm relaxing my grip 
slightly. I'm not letting the stick have all this crazy wiggle room. I don't need it to go all the way over here when I'm going fast. I only want it to be here. So again, it's with that space and control underneath. I'm just wiggling my wrist. Okay. Slow. Faster. Okay, watch this space here. A lot of people get too tight or they sit like this and like, you can't all the way here. It just doesn't make any sense. Okay, so there you go. We've done our warm up. We've done our snare to tom 16th note, snare to tom 8th note, snare to tom quarter note. We even had some fun and went off on the other toms. I generally don't even suggest that. I really mean just go from your snare to your tom, your snare to your tom, your snare to your tom. Don't ADD out like I do and go to other drums just yet. Get that down first. Get that down. First, get that going from one drum to the other with that right note landing the one and the one with the right hand or left hand if you're lefty. Now, the other exercise, snare, tom, floor. One and, one and, uh, two and, uh, you know, you can count it uh, uh, a few ways you want. I just count it in six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Snare, snare. Tom, Tom, floor, floor. Snare, snare, Tom, Tom, floor, floor. So this from here, the floor Tom, to here, you've got to get this jump here. Don't try and bring this hand over and then bring this underneath. Don't try some big thing. Just go from here and get that note in and get that note in. Bring those hands across quick, quick. A good exercise is to practice going back and forth. I'll show you that afterwards. So we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six. 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 Okay? Let me put on the overhead cam since we're going to really start moving around the drums just a little bit here. Um, that's good, right? You don't want me to reverse it. I don't need to do big cam me little, right? We'll keep it like this, right? More personal me here. Um, so snare, tom, floor tom. exercise that I do for myself at home for fun, it's, it's called the, the butterfly roll. Now these are definitely the, the kind of end of the lesson, little fun stuff. You don't have to do this stuff, but this is stuff that I do practice. Now the butterfly roll, because of the way my drums are set up, snare, tom, tom, floor tom, and I have the tom here, I kind of separate my arms and it just reminds me of like the butterfly. You make the butterfly's bat body and you come around, right? I know it sounds a little weird, right? So you know, I have to throw an extra snare note on with the left hand because I don't have the floor tom, so I'm not coming around entirely evenly when my right hand goes to the floor tom. I'm coming from this tom to here. So it does get tricky. It's the kind of thing that I do have to take my time with in warm up. And sometimes I get it down great. Sometimes I get it down terribly. So let's see how it is now. Because it is still something for me that I'm experimenting with. I just love the tonality of it. So I've been messing around with it from time to time. So let's see how it sounds today.
So again, I'll do that really slow so you can see the sticking. If you're going to do this at home and you have a five piece set, you can go from the snare up to the middle tom and then bring your hands out this way and back around. But again, take it slow to work out the movement. Really feel how your body wants to go naturally. Then think of the technique you're in and blend those together. Your movement, your natural movement and the technique and blend them together. So slow motion, this is. Okay, it's really fun. It's very odd to get down at first. And then the other thing is back and forth. And I traditionally mean going back and forth around your drums. So back and forth around your drums. But we could start off going forward and then go backwards. But don't just make circles. You know, practice that as well. But I want you to go, you know, forward and then come back. And go forward and come back. And I also want you to get used to going back and forth between your floor tom and your snare. But first, let's go around the drums and back again a couple of times. Now, let me do that slow. Obviously, I have my smaller tom here and my bigger tom here, so I've got to make this weird passageway if I want to roll them the right way. But you can just... Okay, now I also want you to go back and forth between your snare and your floor tom. Mix this up between two notes, four notes, three notes, whatever feels natural, but go back and forth, all right? every single way you can. All these things are going to help your technique and help your playing. And then when you have all this done, you have to have fun with the single stroke and you have to bring it around your drums. So our exercises and your homework for this week, and try and really do your best at this. The proper warm-up, you really want to do it two minutes, a hand 
or the two minute alternating routine. And we've got the medium to high rebound stroke, you've got the closed stroke, relaxed stroke, medium single stroke, and the heavy single stroke. Then you're gonna go into the snare to tom exercises. Your snare to tom. Snare, 16th notes, one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a, up to the tom. One e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a, back down. Then you're gonna do it eighth notes, one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. Quarter notes. One, two, three, four, 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 one, two, three, four. Then you're gonna snare to the floor tom, that two stroke one. One, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left right, left. Then you're going to just mess around with those concepts of misdirection. Now, just, you know, you don't have to do the butterfly roll. I call it that because of the way it spreads my hands out this way around the kit, okay? Uh, but I do want you to practice at least the back and forth, rolling all the way around back to your snare drum and then all the way from your snare drum back around to your snare drum, all the way to your snare drum and then back around to your snare drum. Not just that loop, Obviously, you're going to practice that as well, but I want you to get used to that motion of going back and forth, back and forth. Also, practice going back and forth between your floor tom and definitely practice the, de the deadly one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Watch that motion. Watch that motion. You can see I had a, a tough time with it for today's lesson, um, but take this stuff really slow. And as far as the singling and going all around the set and doing all that stuff, take your time. Build that stuff up slow. All right? Thank you so much. Practice this stuff. I'll see you all for Sunday coffee. Okay? Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.